All right, here we're going to start uh, looking at some ex examples of finding the radius and interval of convergence. So in part A here, we've got the series from 1 to infinity, x to the n times 2 to the n over n factorial. So again, to do these, we're going to use the ratio test. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity. Everywhere there's an n, I'm going to replace it with n plus 1. So then we would have n plus 1 factorial in the denominator. Okay. Then we have to flip and multiply by the reciprocal. So n factorial over x to the n times 2 to the n. So let's see. If we simplify here, we've got the limit as n goes to infinity. x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is going to leave us with x to the first. Um, 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n is going to leave us with a 2. And then n factorial over n plus 1 factorial is going to leave us with n plus 1. You could pull the 2x out and keep that in absolute value. And then we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n plus 1. But this limit is simply going to equal 0. And again, we want... We want to figure out what values of x we can plug in so that at the end of the day, when we multiply, we get something less than 1. Well, no matter what you plug in for x and multiply by 0, you'll always get something less than 1. So that means the solution, um, the interval of convergence, is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. So this will be our interval of convergence. Well, in this case, if you think about the, uh, you know, the length of this interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, that's just infinity. So we would say the radius is also infinity. So the interval of convergence, all real numbers, the radius, uh, again, the radius is a, a number, or in this case, we would just say uh, positive infinity.